Suswilch my here guys. So today I'm going to be talking about some of the things that I find interesting about Polish people. These are things I've learned from being in Poland close to a total of 90 days, um, being with my Polish girlfriend, and also this YouTube channel here on YouTube. I got to learn a lot of cool things that honestly I had no clue about with Polish people and so far have completely surprised me. So here's just like a short list of a few things I've gotten to learn about Polish people that are quite surprising. All right, so number one is being mushroom foraging. This is something that I was shocked about. Actually, you can check out one of my meme videos when I got to see um, this meme about how Polish people were so into mushroom foraging. I was like, that's not, that's not true. I've never heard this before. What? Polish people love mushroom foraging? What? <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> That's definitely not true. 100% not true. Totally not true. Uh, next thing you know, I got like so many comments saying that it's totally true and that I was wrong for saying that, that they're not into it. So, and actually I got to see Polish YouTubers uploading content of mushroom foraging. And this was so surprising to me like I didn't even know it was much of a thing and I didn't know there was a huge community for it so yeah this is something that's not really common here in the States I mean I know it's a thing but it's not like a big thing um, and I don't think it's as big as it is in Poland for sure so I'm sorry for saying that mushroom foraging is not a thing in Poland because actually it is and it's surprisingly a thing in Poland that I had no clue about <laughs> So this may sound stupid to a lot of people, but actually um, this came across as surprising to me. So Polish people are very religious and I know, I know, I know, maybe I should have known that. I don't know, but Catholic church is so huge in Poland. So I didn't even know this until I went over to Poland and got to see a lot of this. There's so many churches. There's a church like every couple kilometers it seems in every city especially so i'd say in the u.s there's lots of christians compared to catholics and so this kind of surprised me that there was such a huge um community for catholics in poland and i know this again like i know this sounds super dumb that um i'm saying this but it just it surprised me about polish people and um i was in a classroom actually talking to uh, polish students once and i said uh, like raise your hand if you're going to church or believe in God or whatever and literally every single student raised their hand that they're going to church so this completely surprised me because growing up as a kid here in America that's totally not the case a lot of kids don't go to church or they grew up with it but they don't really go now so yeah again that it was just surprising to me personally all right so another one Polish people are super educated and this actually surprised me in fact I did not even know this. Before coming to Poland, I didn't realize how educated Polish people are. In fact, 90% of the population has a secondary education. And I found that online. So I guess that means at least 90% of the population has a bachelor's degree, which is completely surprising. Because here in the States, actually 36% of adults have a secondary education degree. To me, you know, a degree is not really as common as in Poland. So there's so many people going to school. So it also comes to the fact that school is actually relatively free. So anyone can go. So this kind of makes it so you have to have a degree to at least fight the competition for jobs. Actually, a lot of students that I was talking to are getting their masters right now because that's just what they have to do for the competition um, in like their job industry. So kind of a pro and con, pro free school, con they have to do a lot of school spend a lot of time a lot of years and energy into school in order to actually get like a decent job all right so here's another one that's uh kind of silly right but polish people like to put ketchup on pizza so i didn't know this until the first time i was at my girlfriend's house and we were getting pizza next thing you know her parents brought over ketchup to the table and my girlfriend said hey all right do you want ketchup on your pizza i thought she was kidding at first but um, little did I realize that she was actually honest and I didn't realize that it's actually a thing and I guess it's a Polish thing because no one does that in the States. I mean, there's already tomato sauce on it. So you're adding like tomato, you know, ketchup, which I guess is like sugared tomato, but, um, it's still super interesting to me. So I actually don't think I've tried it yet, but 
and I don't know if I actually want to because I don't know it just doesn't really seem uh, that great but I've tried weird sauces on pizza but definitely not ketchup so that's just another thing that surprised me about Polish people is that they actually like ketchup on their pizza so another thing that surprised me about Polish people is that there's actually approximately 20 million Poles living outside of Poland now this came across as quite surprising to me. I found it at an article because I know that there was lots of Poles living outside of Poland. And for instance, especially uh, in the US, there's not really, I guess, Polish citizens, but there's Polish descent in Chicago, for example. So working at a hotel desk, I actually came across a lot of people who were Polish and I got to talk to them. And um, I actually have a funny story about one of them. I got to meet uh, this guy who had a last name like Polonia or something and I was like is that a Polish last name and he's like yeah and um, he didn't know Polish at all but his wife speaks Polish this guy was like a senior citizen he was probably like 60 or 70 years old and he was actually from New York City and it was super cool to talk to him and he got to go to Krakow and uh, you know random places Białystok and stuff like that so I got to talk about my experiences too and we just had a fun time and he actually gave me the phone his phone to talk to his wife in Polish and it was just a super awesome experience and it was super cool to talk to her in Polish as well it was just such a fun time but anyways my point with this is that there's lots of Polish people especially with descent everywhere all around the world um, and especially in the US so that's just something else that surprised me um, because once I got to uh, kind of like learn how the last names work in Poland, um, it's it's surprising to see people's last names and then be able to like say, wow, this person's actually Polish. And there's so many too. And you got to think it's also not really such a large country. So it's pretty cool um, to see. Now, most of this is motivations from war and tragedy of people having to leave or search for uh, better opportunities elsewhere, but nonetheless, it's still pretty surprising to me that there's so many Polish people who are either citizens living abroad or just people of Polish descent all around the world. So here's a bit of a short one, and it may sound dumb, but Polish people really like Home Alone on Christmas time, and I know like all around the world, people love Home Alone at Christmas time. But when I was with my girlfriend this past Christmas, she wanted to watch Home Alone. And I was like, okay, that's great. And she started to talk to me about how it's almost religious with people watching Home Alone on Christmas or surrounding some of the dates on Christmas. So this is kind of like a dumb short one, I know, but it's just something that's pretty interesting to me that Home Alone, the movie series, is quite religiously watched in Poland around Christmas. So it's just something that surprised me about Polish people watching like an American Christmas movie um, during their times of the holidays. It's just, I know it's kind of small and dumb, but it surprised me. So the last one that surprised me today about Polish people are that they're actually pretty superstitious. And it was interesting talking to my girlfriend and learning about some of the things that Polish people do, or they're into certain numbers or um, certain ways of doing things because of superstitions. So before coming over to Poland for the first time I actually watched a lot of YouTube videos which taught me a lot about Polish people and Poland itself. So most of the videos at least touched on the subject of superstitions and superstitious people um, and superstitious Polish people. So for instance there's tons of little ones and I think a lot of people believe in their own little things but um, so I was taught by a lot of YouTubers to not greet a person over the threshold of a door. Now, I thought this was quite strange and odd, but again, these are different cultures and, you know, completely different upbringings in life. So this is kind of small, but slightly big at the same time, because some people are really into it. Some people are just not at all. So it surprised me a lot that Polish people are superstitious in some degree. All right, guys, so that's actually it for the video today. But if you have any more interesting things about Polish people and you'd like to talk about them, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, dziękuję i do widzenia.